Hello everyone. So today we are going to see how we can handle uh, JSON files. So sometimes what happens uh, when we have a big JSON files, our request body. So uh, that would be very uh, difficult to manage using the way earlier uh, we did, like uh, using model and uh, uh, mapping to the uh, properties uh, after reading the test data from uh, our CSV file. So uh, if we have around 100 or 200 uh, lines of JSON, that will be very difficult to manage in the test. Uh, and also earlier, like we used a, a, a JSON string, we formatted. Uh, so that also not possible or not very optimized way or best solution uh, to work with. Um, so for a small payloads, this is fine. If this way you can format JSON string, but if you have a big JSON file, that is that becomes very uh, difficult task uh, to manage, and it also be not readable. Okay. Uh, so what today? What we are going to do? We are uh, going to create a method which will read a JSON file and map to the our model which we have created. Okay and that make our job very easy so let us uh, do this so for that what we have to do first thing let us go to create one uh, method into the, our uh, handle content class which is basically uh, newton soft json uh, methods deserialize and serialize so all we are managing in the different class so let us create a method public static and I want to make a generic method okay parse JSON right and uh, this um, this method will take a string parameter uh, string file okay and uh, this file will be the JSON file which we will pass. Okay. So this method would be on what it will return. It will return the uh, objects up, after deserializing. So we'll use JSON convert dot deserialize object. Okay. And here what we are going to say like file. Okay. So file is the class under uh, system.io and which provides re method read all text and here we can pass the uh, file. Right. That's a, a small method uh, will help us to uh, read the JSON file and uh, deserialize to objects according and it will map to the model whichever we will pass okay so let us go back to uh, test and comment this where we earlier we used to uh, make our payload using models okay so what i'm going to say like uh, create a, a variable payload and uh, i can call handle content dot parse json right and here i would say uh, create user model. This is our model to create a user. Okay. And uh, here I will pass the JSON file. So for the JSON file, what we have to do in the same way earlier, we, you man, uh, we manage under test data. So you can directly uh, add the JSON files here or you can create JSON files. So suppose I have created one JSON file here. Okay, this way. So all your JSON uh, request JSON will be uh, placed here inside test data. All right, and make sure that uh, when you add, you always uh, change this uh, copy to output directory to copy always. Otherwise, uh, it will not be copied to output directory and you will get uh, no file found exception. Okay, so better to do this. Uh, right, so here I will give create user dot json right and now this will provide me 
payload okay okay now um, i don't read need these things okay because now we don't need a csv file so uh, what i can do i can uh, delete and i can write it this way create user dot json okay we only need this file so or if we, if you need multiple uh, jsons in a single uh, test method what you can do you can just remove this you can just say like test data so whatever files will be there will be placed into the output directory and from where our test will pick right whatever the file we want so both way is possible all right now we have to do some modifications uh, whatever earlier we have so now uh, it is payload so let us change it and this also become a payload now right right okay now uh, this will give us a payload now we are we'll pass this payload to create user let us go to create user and this create user uh, will create a client and then what you have to do because it returns as an object okay after reading that json file it returns an object so what we have to do we have to serialize into json okay so this serialize whatever the method we created here that will convert into the json uh, which we require for our uh, request right so that one thing is required and then uh, we'll pass this request after uh, serializing to json we'll pass to the create post request and create post request will do the job okay and i have marked as a dynamic payload so at runtime it will be decided okay so just to avoid uh, any data uh, parameter type whatever we are passing exceptions and all those things better to use dynamic right so these are small changes we'll do and uh, then what uh, once we get the response so then i have created another uh, method to get the content because the response has multiple information like the status code content headers and all but here we only interested in the content for now we can validate the status code and all like how we did here okay so that we do we can do with the response but if you want to content uh, you can get the content uh, um, this way so again uh, our handle content is uh, managing getting the content from the response right all right so that's what a small change is required to work with json files okay basically if you have very big json files okay so let me go to my test and run this okay so let me run this So now uh, it will read the uh, test data file and create JSON, create user.json file from the test data and it will send as a payload and our handle content will deserialize and give it us as a so it is the test is passed now so that the small uh, uh, video i wanted to uh, share with you because i was getting a lot of requests for how to manage these json files so hopefully this will be helpful to you